Hey everyone, and welcome back to our series on practice locks. Today in episode five, we're going to be making an easily repinnable practice lock using a mortise cylinder. We'll do this by tapping the pin chambers on the top so we can cap them off with Allen cup point set screws, which makes it easy to take apart whether you have a key or not and whether or not you can pick it. This means that you can easily make any combination of lock that you want from easy to hard. As you saw in previous episodes, we're going to be using a quick set cylinder for this. This one I got from lockpicks.com. You'll also need a Phillips head screw, screwdriver to remove the cam on the back, a small flathead screwdriver to take off the pin cap, a small hammer so you can uh, uh, use that with the, the screwdriver, the flathead screwdriver. You'll need a set or two of pliers to pull off that pin cap, and we're going to top the chambers with some 6 seconds Allen head set screws that are 1 8 inch long. And to screw those in, we'll need an Allen wrench, which in this case is 1 16 inch. And then lastly, we'll need a 6 second inch tap. So this will basically create the screw threads inside of the pin chamber. And uh, I've got these in a couple different form factors. This is just the 630 seconds. You can also get this in a screwdriver form factor, which has three different sizes on it. The first one here being the 630 seconds. Okay, so the first thing that we'll need to do is take the lock apart like we did in the last episode. Um, we can keep the key pins intact since we're not going to really be doing anything with those. So we'll take the screws out of the cam first. And again, if you're doing this for the first time in your practice lock, these may be secured with some blue Loctite and a little bit difficult to get out. So just put a lot of pressure on it when you first start to loosen it up. Okay, and remember, insert the key. We'll grab our plug follower. Turn this 90 degrees, match the notched end onto the back of the core, and push this straight through. Whoops, almost lost that. Okay. And we will just set this aside since we're not going to take those out. And let's take all of the driver pins and springs out. One. Okay, and it, you'll remember in the last episode, we did put in some spool pins here, so we're seeing those come out now. We've got all five out now. So the next step is now going to be to use the screwdriver and get it right on the very, very edge of this cap. This piece here is actually a plate that's put on top of the mortise cylinder. So I'm going to give this a whirl. If for some reason I start to mess up or try to hit my camera, I'm going to uh, stop and then get it started and come back when I get it started. So let's give it a whirl, see if we can do this without uh, destroying my camera. Okay, everybody, as I suspected, I had to take this out to the workbench. My plastic table here was flexing too much and everything was bouncing, and you may have even seen uh, the key pins here flying all over the place. But the end result here is I just got the edge of this plate started. You can see it's got a little bend in it. And so now what I'll do is work a 
the screwdriver back behind it again bend it up just a little bit more so I got something to grab onto and then we'll take the pliers here and just pull this off all right so now we've got five little holes exposed here and we can go ahead and tap these so we don't have to go too deep with this because these are only one eighth of an inch so basically we're just looking for maybe two or three little threads in here so we'll start at the front and this is brass so it's very soft you don't really have to put too much pressure on this and then we'll back it out slowly Okay, hopefully I can get an angle that you can see this in. Okay, let's try the next one. So the whole process of doing this, once you get this down and you've done it a couple times, you can crank one of these out probably five minutes or so. So if you ever want to have a little get together and make a few of these once COVID's over, it's not hard to do. You'll see I'm collecting a few little shavings here. Locksport glitter. All right, we should be good to go now. Let's blow this off. Make sure there's no little shavings kicking around here to bind up our lock. If you got some canned air, it's probably a good idea to blow through some of that. All right, so let's get this back together again. So because I've got these holes to work with, I can just slide my core right back in. And then I kind of want to lock it in place here by just dropping in one of the driver pins. And I like to put the just flat one in first because it'll hold it in place. And we'll just move this back and forth to make sure it's locked in there. There we go. So just a little, the pressure of uh, the pin in there is enough, but let's put a spring on top. And so the, the fun part here is the spring is actually going to stick out a little bit so we have to be a little careful when we put the set screw on that it doesn't come flying out on us so let's get some set screws out okay more than enough So kind of the way I like to do this is to put it right on the wrench like that and then put the tip right up against the spring, push it in and start turning. There we go. So we got our first one in place. Now the other ones should be relatively easy. Famous last words, right? Okay. And so yeah, we're just going to go through and really doesn't matter what order I put these in since these are driver pins and all the same length, but we're just going to drop them in place. Okay. 
and then put the springs in. Obviously for the shorter pins the springs might not stick out as much since you've got a shorter key pin there. If you find that some of these won't go in as far as you'd like, maybe uh, the next time you take it apart, you can take that tap and put just a couple more turns on it, thread it in just a little bit more. Other thing I found helpful, at least with the quick set, is you can get either long springs or short springs. And sometimes putting the short spring in here will make it a little bit easier so you don't have to uh, deal with the spring sticking out. Um, there's a little bit of a tension difference when you're picking it, but otherwise it's pretty much the same. All right, so we've got all those in. Looks pretty good. Make sure our key works. Remember to put your, oops, put your finger on the face here. Key works great. Finger on the face when you take it out. And we will Go ahead and put the cannon back on the back. Alright, so there we have it everybody, a new quick set 5 pin practice lock that you can easily rekey. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to follow along.